Also, Fan TV, what do you make of it? It's another loss on the roads, but a bit of fight shown. Yeah, man, 10 men, you look at it, halfway through the game, you didn't really remember we were down to 10 men. We were playing with such abundance in our attack. And it also felt like the fact that Welbeck went off and it was a bang on up top, we could use the width well as well. Mm. And, and I think we've been struggling up by playing the width because I call it windscreen wiper football. I think that at the moment, Wenger, Wenger's style of football, it's always side to side, there's no penetration. But because we were so... Windscre I like that. Windscreen, it is windscreen, wiper. Wi windscreen wiper football. The thing is, get this one, get this one, right? So when Nelson made his debut against Southampton, right? And when Eddie comes on, they're playing the philosophy of Arsenal football. They're running, they're into the little pockets. But our first team doesn't have that philosophy anymore. We just play side to side. When it comes wide, when Bellerin or whoever comes wide, they always want to turn back. That's why Maitland-Niall looked lively tonight because he was getting to the byline. He was cutting in and he was pulling it back. And I think the truth has to be said. I mean, tonight it's hard because obviously we lost. We put an effort in and I felt we deserved to get something out of the game. But at the end of the day, it's bullshit. End of the day, we lost. And I think there's too many seasons we've gone by where it's if, when, maybe this, that. And now I think the wool's been pulled and it's just, it's just calling it as it is. New as manager's going to be coming in. What well, does he have to change for you? Well, what is the fundamental change it's the that he has to make? to get this team challenging for the league again. You know what, it's the spine and it's also competing for that starting berth because there's too many players that are strolling out there expecting to start. I think you look at it against Atletico Madrid, right? We can't break down Stoke, Burnley away sometimes, West Brom, you know, you go through the games away that we've done. How are we going to do it at the A-class level of Atletico Madrid? And we all wanted the fairy tale scenario of Wenger winning the Europa, this, that. But the truth is, it's the reality that we are facing in the fact that we are substandard at a level that we should be at, at where we should be competing. So what I want the new manager, all being well allegory to come through, is to instill faith and ability in that team and in that squad, but make people compete. I know that if they fuck up, if they don't turn up, then they're out. And also give confidence because I know uh, DT said it was collecting that arena. Yeah, Ben Random, by the way, represent BD and Bradford and Leeds, yeah? But, Quick shout out, quick shout but, out, solid. But, but for me, I think like it is about confidence with a war bit and there's it. certain players that you need to give confidence to certain players that you need to bollock and there's certain players that you just need to dash like Mustafi, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But there's, there's a war bit trying, but he just doesn't have that, of, that other bit. I bet if the war bit was under pep, I bet if Iwobi was under Pep, like like Sterling, we'd see a different Iwobi. No, and we, we've, we've, we've not... Agree. No, no, come on, nah. No. I hope it's rubbish, man. Come on, he's rubbish. I hope it's rubbish. He's shit. He's, no, he's dead. He's, he's terrible. He's he, he was 22 he's last week. Old side. No, yeah, no, well, my point is, he doesn't have end product, but he's... He can't he can't pass. But my he's point to that... He's my point to that, Robbie, my point to that is, right, it's about a manager nurturing that ability. When it all became through with the same principle I said about academy players coming through, he was electric, wasn't he? He was blitzing it. And then he became just complacent in the Arsenal first team style of football. There's no identity. And now he's got no head. You know what? Would you keep it honestly, I'd, honestly? I'd, I'd give him a blight or I'd put him on loan, but I wouldn't nah, dash him out, man. He's got JJ cut. Nah, hell no, hell no. Get rid of him. He can't assist. He can't shoot. He can't score nothing. What can he do? Get rid of him. He scored the last game. How old is he? He's 22. He's 22. He's 22. Walk as much better than him. Walk as much better. Anyway, I just. You're not going to convince him. Nah, man. So, next manager for you, who do you want? Allegri. 100%. I know it has to be Allegri. Everyone's speaking up Enrique and I get it. Venga Virgin 2.0. Oh, but where we're suffering is the defence. You look at Oblak, right? If we sign Oblak, man, that's a proper, is, that's the proper foundation to build around. We've not got a bad squad. We just need somebody that's going to get into them and dig them out and actually make them perform. So for me, what I want to say about Allegri, losing 4-1 at home to Real Madrid to get a team to turn up in the Bernabeu. And I know the loss, but for 3 0 up until that penalty decision to get a team to work out your tactics. Allegri is the Don, man. That's the thing. Allegri is the Don. And if Allegri comes to this club, we will be the best team in this league again. He said it here first. It's Robbie here. I'm on the set of the Real Football Fan Show. We're about to get things cracking. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. The Real Football Fan Show every Thursday, just after midnight on Channel 4. Make sure you check it out.